if that's true for you, raise your virtual hand. I'm gonna bring you up. It's a build day. We're gonna build, we're gonna get it in, we're gonna, you know, if it gets emotional, hey, it gets emotional. I told y'all before, this is a good space, it's a safe space for you to share, for you to be the version of you that you want to be. This this is where you do the work. So athletes, they got the field, they got the court, they got the rink, they got places that they can practice. But when it comes to entrepreneurs, where do we have a, a place to practice, y'all? Like, where, where's our place to practice? Where, where can we get better? Where can we grow? Where can we build our teams? This is that place. Everybody came in to fund your freedom challenge. This was amazing. It was fantastic. It was beautiful. Great experience because we got to fund our freedom, right? But how are we going to do it? It's not just about money. I had a conversation with someone and I was like, yo, the best way to transform your life is to change from inside. When you change and you grow from within, everything else around you changes and grows. And they said, how am I going to do this without money? I said, it's not about the money. I said, in fact, money is a receipt for the value that you provide to other people. That's all it is. Money is just a receipt for the value that you provide. The issue is this. We're not taught that. So what happens is we go get a job. You go get a job and you're providing value to one person. That's the CEO of your company. That one person is paying you that one check that's enough just for you to travel, just for you to eat, just for you to clothe and do other things that you need to do. And then you run home, take that check, and you split it up amongst yourself and other people that's around you. That's why most of you are not having the life you want. And it's not because of a job. A job is a stepping stone. But a job does stand for just over broke. So if you want to stay in that range of being just over broke, then you stay at the job because you're serving one person. Yes, it may look like you're serving other people because there's people that's being fulfilled. But when I did graphics for Netflix and Roku, I realized that. I came to a realization I didn't have what we call ownership. Everybody dropped ownership in the chat. It was about ownership, man. And I realized that's that was the domino. But the biggest thing of it all, because I realized I only had about, I only worked five years in the corporate world. Like I only had like five years of, of work. I worked at Jamba Juice for three days. I quit. I'm telling you, I couldn't I couldn't take it. <laughs> I was getting overworked and I was underpaid, man. It, it, at first, when I came in, it was like, yo, I'm going to sit you down, get the interview. I'm like, all right, cool. This is dope. I'm seeing all of the, I'm, in my mind, I'm not even really paying attention to what he's saying to do this interview with me. I'm worried about all the good benefits I got for working at Jamba Juice, all the smoothies I want in the world. <laughs> all the smoothies I want in the world about to come to me. And then when I get there, it's like, yo, when a customer order... They have to get their smoothie within two minutes. And guess what? There's a time clock right behind you. Pay attention to that time clock. I'm like, damn, all right, that's nothing. So when you start and you start seeing everybody come in there, it's hard after a while. I was like, ah, nah. You got me running back and forth. I got, I got to run to the freezer. I'm freezing. My, my nipples get cold under the apron. Like, I'm like, nah, yo, this ain't it. This ain't it for me. This ain't it for me, yo. I said, you know what? I'm going to see y'all later. <laughs> I left three days. After three days, I think my check came in the mail. It was like $52 after tax and all that stuff. And it was a mutual feeling. <laughs> they didn't call me back. I didn't call them back. It was a mutual feeling, man. And the biggest thing is like, yo, I had to create. I had to create my life. The reason why it was like that, because I wasn't creating my life. I was allowing my life to be dictated too. So some of you might have a, <laughs> the nipples was the breaking point. Y'all was like, nah, chill. Y'all got me out here. Wow. So um, <laughs> it, it was like, creation. I wasn't creating my reality. I was just living in somebody else's. Don't get me wrong. You are the star of your movie. And if you look to the left and right, you're going to see somebody else as the star of their movie because when we come together, we co-star. But I want to know, are you being the MVP of your life? Are you being the most valuable participant? Because that's what's going to matter. I wasn't being the most valuable participant. I was just running my mouth. I was good up there. I was talking and customers. This is when I knew I was operating the wrong way because the customers were, were loving my interaction. They, they were loving my interaction. And some people say, I'm only here for you. You came here for me. That's my third day. I'm leaving today. Y'all don't know that, though. I'm out of here. <laughs> I wish I could take y'all with me, but I'm gone. <laughs> don't come back here for me no more. Um, so I left. I couldn't take it. It was too weird. And uh, the reality of the matter is it was one of the best decisions I've made. I ended up meeting with Jacob DeJula's son and working for their program, which is called Elite Daily. You probably could look it up. Some of you might know, some of you might not, but Elite Daily, one of the biggest online platforms. Um, and I started interviewing artists, you know, young, uh, what's his name? ASAP Ferg was one of the first artists to interview. And as the list goes on from there, but the point was you got to start creating your reality. 
And yeah, I didn't go to school to work, come out working for Jamba Juice. Let's not, come on. I spent all, I spent a lot of time learning to come out to do something at Jamba Juice. And there's nothing wrong with Jamba Juice. In fact, you can go and own Jamba Juice if that's the case um, and put it inside of the um, the airports. I'll definitely do that. That's a, something that y'all could think about. If you want to throw it in the airport, you got to have a connection for that. But there's always people inside the community. You never know who you run into. So I want to bring some people up. I want Jasmine and I want Sunshine to run it alternate between the people that we bring up but you said this week was impactful for you and I, I mentioned to y'all said like I said before the next five days would be like the most important five days I want to know has this been true for anybody what your experience was like and if we can get it enough people I think we should go with 30 seconds or less so when you come up 30 seconds or less don't be too long-winded I don't want to have to bring the Jeopardy music and have somebody you know dance you off the screen but you know just you know 30 seconds or less. Everybody put 30 seconds or less in the chat just so we're clear. And look, if you're having fun, if this has been like the best environment you've been part of, let us know. Let us know. All right, cool. So let's get, let's it. get it. Let's go with Sunshine first, then we go with Jazz. Uh, did he just say he was going to bring out the Sandman? I went over 30 seconds. Y'all better stop playing with the king this Monday morning. He not playing with y'all. Okay. So listen, 30 seconds or less, family. Queen Angela, come talk to us, Queen. 30 seconds or less. The Sandman coming to get you, Queen. Okay. I'm mute. We can't hear you. You're muted, love. There you go. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Um, 30 seconds or less, how it impacted me. My head is swimming. Um, from checking the credit and making sure that's being clean, working on my social media, going to be with Tower the Power Talk class. It's my head is swimming. And right now I'm like, I'm yelling because I say, okay, my I'm really on point with the fitness aspect of it. I'm still working on the um the inner the, the, the networking, that kind of the collaboration kind of stuff, but Right now, I feel like I'm just about ready to be in position, which is kind of cool. So I think the first week was the setting up of everything and clearing out and kind of filling in the cracks. So uh, I got I'm still a work in progress, and um, yeah, I'm having a great I'm having a great time. I'm my mind is busy, man. So I thank you guys for putting fire under my feet. Thank you. All right, I, I love what you were saying. Uh, he almost made me go get that same man sunshine was talking about because it was going over thirty. You know, I had the projectives like, is she going to wrap it up? All right, cool. She did. She did a great job. Everybody send some love. Angela in the chat. Let's continue to go to the next person. Let's get it, family. Make sure we have our cameras on. That way we can call you up. So let's get it going with Queen Veronica. Come through, Queen Veronica. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Rising Love. Can you hear me? Yes, Queen. Great morning. Good morning. Uh, so this was very impactful. Wait, I mean, hold on, hold on, real fast. Um, I see myself on the screen. I don't see you. Is anybody uh pulling her up on the screen? Because I don't see her on the screen. All right, there we go. Great stuff. Good morning. Um, this has been more than impactful. Uh, I know it was all you know a foundation to help us fund our freedom, but it opened up my eyes and you know, a bigger aspect as far as being a better wife, being a better mother. Um, I, it also inspired me to, you know, to go to the gym every morning that we've been on calls. I've been at the gym faithfully. So I just want to thank everybody. And I've been reaching out to everybody. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to, you know, do the mentorship, but I am going to stay close to the fire. And I just want to thank everybody who had a helping hand in this. Absolutely, Queen. Shout out to you and your consistency. Yes, yes. Everybody send some love in the chat for Queen V. Let's let's continue to go. King Jeff, come talk to us, King Jeff. We can't hear you. I'm mute, King. There you go. All right. Am I muted? Yes, we can hear you, King. Okay, yeah, this, this week, man, took me out of my comfort zone. I realized I've been comfortable. I've been, I mean, you know, I got a great job. My wife got a good job, too. We make uh, good money, according to me. Uh, but this week, man, just took me out of my regimented comfort zone. Uh, I've been going to bed late. <laughs> I've been working consistently on this stuff. 
Uh, but but just thank you, man. The, the accountability aspect got me to a new level. You know, I'm a leader in my industry. I run I, I run a business. I run a church. And uh, I took accountability to a new level this week, man. And I'm so grateful, guys. Uh, I, I am I am even this morning. I am pumped up, ready to go. I'm going to teach my team this accountability aspect. I am working on that. I'm teaching my team a whole new level of accountability. So thank you, guys. Absolutely. Success leaves clues. Let's get it. Show some love to King Jeff and the Chizat. All right, we have Lita Shields. What's your impact, Queen? Let me get, let me pull my thing up. Hi, everybody. Can y'all hear me? Yes, Queen. Yeah. Okay, two things from the beginning that I learned. One, when Smitty said, don't trade your time for money. I worked 100 hours at work this week. It's busy season and I have two jobs. So that's a no-go. My body is killing me. <laughs> and then the second thing, we have to be changing my mindset and unlearning things. So the calls in the morning and really the breakthroughs and even after this, I'm seeking therapy because I just feel like I'm by myself. So I'm actually seeking outside help. So that was very impactful for me to be able to move forward to complete my future goals. So I just want to say thank you. Look, first of all, everybody, can we have everybody on mute and send you some love? Because working 100 hours and you still look like that, got great energy. Come on, you're amazing. You got, everybody <laughs> got to unmute because this, this is powerful stuff. Beautiful energy. Love yes, beautiful. yes. That's amazing. Love yeah. 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 Yes, keep doing it. You can do it. Hit me up if you need to. Stop it. You're not alone. Everybody put Yana in the chat. You're not alone, right? You're definitely not alone. Like, and, and that's one thing I want to get to everybody. Strategic partnerships are very Strategic important. Strategic partnerships are very important. Uh, let's have everybody on mute. Uh, let's have everybody on mute. All right. Strategic partnerships are very important, right? So one of the things, too, is... Um, we, we, we definitely want to disconnect our like money thoughts, like our relationship with money from time. Everybody put disconnect money from time. Because I know some of y'all, like if you, if you believe time is money, put a one in the chat. Because we've been taught, like we've been really taught, yo, time is money, guy, get it. Time is money, time is money. Time is not money, y'all. Time is not money. Time is infinitely greater than money. You're going to hear us say this and speak about this often because it's very important for us to be aware of these things. And time is not money. Time is greater than money. And the reason why time is greater than money, I think I think y'all know, like drop some reasons why time is greater than money. Because you rather spend time with your family than spend 100 hours. You rather spend time with your significant others than spend 100 hours at the job, right? You can't get it back. That's a fact. You can't get it back. So if you don't use time, you lose time. So one thing I want us to also do as, as far as your businesses go, disconnect why you charge what you charge from the price. It's like disconnect from the price. Disconnect from the time, all of that, and, and focus on the result. Which result do you provide? Because people, people purchase based upon results. People purchase based upon results. So just making sure that everybody here understands that time is, when it comes to money and time, those two separate things, two separate things. Uh, let's continue to go. Let's go with the next person. And then we're going to move into something different. The next person would be Queen Tanisha. Come talk to us, Queen. We can't. Oh, she's back on mute. All right, there you go. Good morning. Okay, good morning, everybody. Can you hear me loud and clear? Yes, we can. Love. Yes. Oh, good, good. Okay. Well, this eight days has been so impactful to my life because it reminded me 
on my journey that I'm currently on right now with my healing journey and really understanding my purpose and that I need to have impact over income. So that's what I'm focused on right now. How can I add more value to people's lives? And within this whole week, it helps me finalize how I can do that. So I'm just super grateful. And I appreciate that. Hold on, let's have everybody on mute. Okay, can we just on uh, the background make sure that you know I don't want to put the lock back on it. If you put the lock back on it, nobody can unmute themselves. If you keep unmuting, we have to put the lock on, okay? All right, continue. Yeah, so um as I said, I definitely appreciate the value that y'all uh, poured into me. Um, especially for this small investment, it was way more than worth it. So much appreciated for sure. Absolutely. The result, I'm telling y'all, like you. Most of, most of us are going to see a little bit of the result, but the reality of it is things are going to happen over time. Things grow over time. Things get better over time or things can get worse over time. It's because the maintenance of it. What? How are you maintaining it? How are you putting it into, into your brain for success? So for most of you all, right, how are you maintaining what you learn? So I want to know right now, and let's take everybody's hands down just so that way we can uh, do it this way. We don't want to call upon somebody who's not prepared to... Uh, to share on this one. So we're going to have y'all really raise your hands. But so for this particular exercise, I want us to just get present with something. And what have you done already to change your life from the last week, right? This week, you're a new me, right? This week, you're a new me, right? Put it in the chat. This week, I'm a new me. Like you, you have something different about you this week than you did last week. I want to know what did you put in place in order for this week for you to show up as a new person? And I love the fact that we got some new hands up. Let's get some individuals who haven't spoken last week. We didn't hear Tanya last week, at least for, for maybe. Did we hear from you last week, Tanya? One time, right? Okay. Let's get All right. Up. Who got it? Hi, guys. Good morning. Um, so I guess I really did take the environment part seriously. So I have um, ended a lot of relationships with people I felt weren't you know, growing and they were kind of holding me back in certain aspects. Um, so that was one of the main things I took as well as, you know, success love speed. Like I'm no longer moving at, you know, oh, I'll do it later. Oh, I'll do it next time or I'll do it next week. I'm, you know, staying on point, you know, auditing my circle and really just moving with speed. Absolutely. Absolutely. Everybody drop a love in the chat. We always, always want to make sure we order in our attention, right? Who, who's, who has our attention? Because whoever has your attention has your ascension. It's just that. It's just facts. You've seen it this week, right? You've seen it last week, rather. And it's just so beautiful to be in a space where everybody's learning and growing together. But in school, they make you learn individually. They make everybody come together, but you learn by yourself. It's backwards. And this is why most of us hate school. I'll be honest, man. I was, I was a wizard in school. I finished salutatorian and I went to four different high schools and I finished salutatorian. So like only reason why I didn't get validatory because I went to four different high schools. You, the person who got validatorian was there since freshman year. Right. Um, I went through school, I had 99 grade point averages. At first, my first year in high school, I had 65 grade point average. And anybody from New York, you know, that's barely passing. I was barely passed. That was the same year my mom passed. So that was a struggle for me, but I had to overcome those obstacles. And for you, you might be dealing with something. You might be dealing with some type of struggle, but you got to overcome those obstacles. You got to find a way to put yourself in an environment for you to grow. And I'm not just talking about for you to get baby steps. No, we want you to take giant steps. We want you to make quantum leaps. We want you to be able to hit your targets, exceed your targets, go above and beyond. You got to become the person that goes the extra mile. Everybody drop extra mile in the chat. Is, is your wife, is your life worth you going the extra mile? I didn't mean to say wife there, y'all. My bad. I know some of y'all probably get this. Yes, your wife is worth going the extra mile. <laughs> but is your life worth going the extra mile for? You got to go the extra mile. In order to be successful, you got to go above and beyond, period. Like, period. That's period. Like, if you're working out and you say, yo, I got 10 reps, you're going to do these 10 reps and make sure you get to 11. Make sure you get to 11. I'm serious. Like, whatever bar you set for yourself, break it. Break it. Like, you got to go the extra mile. Everybody drop extra mile in chat. You're worth it. Your freedom is worth it. Your success is worth it. The feeling of happiness is worth it. You got to go the extra mile. No ands or buts or ifs about it. Who's going the extra mile? Let me know in the chat. Let's continue to go. Who's next? 
Up next, we have King Andre. Come talk to us, King. All right. Thank you. Good morning. Now, I'll say, as you say, the extra mile is I gave myself a goal of leaving my job by March. But I said between December and March. Now, as you say, extra mile, I'm like, no, December is the goal. I'm firing my job December. So I'm like, no, I'm going to push myself. I'm not going to sit there and settle for give myself a timeline of extra three months. That's just putting me in a comfort zone. So now nah, this week made me get out of my comfort zone. I had less sleep and I'm realizing I'm more productive. So that's what I'll say. Thank you. Mm, everybody drop some love in the chat for Andre, please. Andre, I want to bring this up, y'all, just so we know, because I did leave my job like that, too, when I just kind of left. I knew I was headed out. By the way, this is what I did. It's a little hack. I'm not telling y'all to run this. Please. I, what I'm saying is don't leave your money on the table and don't leave your time on the table. If you still got vacation days, I know some of y'all are going to take the vacation days in one week. I'm going to take all my vacation days in, the, in, one, in one shot. Don't do that. Don't do that. Usually I say you did that, but don't do that. I'm going to tell you a better hack. A better hack is to take off Monday and Friday. Use your vacation days, take off Monday and Friday. Please don't. I know this is being recorded. Don't send us to any corporate. Hey, who was that speaker earlier when you said you was going to share this with the team? Look, all I'm saying is <laughs> before you leave the job, right, make sure you max out. Make sure you max out. Make sure you have at least six months worth of savings. That's at least, right? Make sure you put all these parameters in place first just to give yourself that cushion because most people don't do well when they, when when finances is in a way. Most people, if finances is in a way, they only look at finances and they can't get out of this situation and it becomes a, a, a worse mess. Money, once again, is a receipt for the value that you provide. As long as you start providing value to people, you're going to be amazing. But before you decide to leave your job, make sure you know where you're going to provide value at, please. Because we get all these calls, and I know a lot of people who get motivated to leave their job, but I'm telling you right now, if you're not used to doing it on your own or used to like creating these ideas on your own to work with other people, to create partnerships, to be interdependent, then don't don't just quit your job just like that. It's not going straight to you, Andre. I'm just making this point just because we... Um, brought it up so just making sure people understand that all right it, it, it's great that's good motivation good energy but let's just say don't be so in a hurry to leave like at least let your 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 new new position or your entrepreneurship at least bring in the same amount of money that your um your current job is giving you you know at least at least something like that let it supplement but um you know you could do it you could do it within three months you could that's totally doable all Absolutely. right, everybody send some love, King Andre. Let's go to the next person. I don't want to inter interrupt. I just want to kind of go with the flow, so I'm not going to say anything. So uh, if Sunshine, after Jasmine goes, you can go. Let's get it. Queen Karen, come through, Queen Karen. Karen, are you there? And don't forget, I want to hear what you implemented from the week to become a new person, right? For this week, from the, from the week we had last week, any tools, any things you implemented so that way you could become a new person this week. Because to be honest, regardless whether you sat and did nothing, the information that came into your brain already changed the situation. You're no longer the same person. So let's act. Good morning. On What's up? How you feeling? All right. I just wanted to say to you, I'm very thankful. Um, previous. So prior to joining this group, I had signed up for the 12 week year in order to help motivate you to uh, do more in your time and have accountability partners. And my accountability partner did not work out. So this session absolutely helped me to be more accountable and more productive. And I just want to say thank you. You gentlemen did a phenomenal job with um, just more information than I could have imagined um, and very grateful um, to be implementing this and continue continuing it for this week. So thank you so very much. Absolutely. Everybody send some love to Karen in the chat. Send some love to Ramel, Smitty, and Boom. Look, as we show y'all, we're going to keep showing you strategic partnerships. Don't think you got to do it alone. It's just, just so we can get that out of the way. Everybody say, I'm not alone. Let's continue to go. Put it in the chat. I'm not alone. Queen Angelique, come talk to us, Queen.
Oh, she's still on mute. Can you hear me? Good morning. Can you hear you loud? Yes. Okay, can I be real? Can I be honest and vulnerable real quick? Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got to command the room, though. Com com command the room. So if I could be real, okay, somebody put be real in the chat. I'm going to be real right Go now, ahead. okay, and be real, real honest with you. So last week, I really wanted to be done. I wanted to be done last week with this, this group because I'm not where I am, especially with another group that I'm I'm with, right? I didn't even think I was going to be crying right now. But it was so frustrating last week because even though I'm in here, I'm holding myself accountable, holding everybody else accountable, it's frustrating because when you're so passionate and you're so eager to get to where you need to get to, and you're not hitting it just yet, it's frustrating. It is freaking frustrating. You understand what I'm saying? And it's crazy because God works in serious ways, right? I wasn't even supposed to meet you. I wasn't even supposed to meet you. You just popped up as a as a, a, a guest host for her. And now I'm here. And I think it's just so frustrating because after last week and me putting in what I want to do for the week, this is what my goals are, et cetera, I still felt like I wasn't getting anywhere. Even though I feel like sometimes I feel like, like last week, I felt like I was lying to myself. Because even though I was putting those things in to align with my, with my goals and my desire, it still felt like it was nowhere because I'm still screaming for, like, help me, you know? So what really saved it is I saw somebody's comment. I don't know whose comment it was, but I saw somebody's, somebody's comment, um, and they were just expressing, you know, what they're going through, et cetera. I'm like, okay, all right, I'm not alone. This is my obstacles. You have to enjoy the journey while you in it. But I'm, like, holding on by a thread, crew. I'm just letting you know right now, like, I'm very strong, but sometimes these strong people need help, you know? So I'm still pushing. I'm still striving, you know, because I'm really itching. It's like fiending for a success that I know that I just got to put the work in it. It's my fault because – I didn't put the work into it until I keep reading the part where it says, you know, put your research, put your, what you, what you do, line them out. Tell me what you did to get to where you need to get to. So when I stop playing and I actually just start being true to myself and start putting in the research, how did you get there? How did you find what you need? That's when it started coming to me. And guess what I did this past weekend? I did my little drive by to these, to these homes that I'm looking for, for investment properties, et cetera. Then it started getting me more productive. I know you said 30 seconds, but I just wanted to share that with you that I was getting more productive. I'm like, all right, all right, I got it. I got it. I just had to, you know, get my feet wet, go into it, and now my momentum is picking back up. So that's all I wanted to share with you, mm -hmm. I, I, First of all, I want to send you a lot of love, and I want to say we're here for you. I'm here for you. And, and you have your coaches. I told y'all when you – when y'all came to our Fund Your Freedom Challenge and, and I showed y'all all the coaches that we have available to you, I'm going to have one of the coaches reach out to you because you're not going to do it alone. You can't do it alone. You got to do it together. And guess what? We're going to make sure that we do it together because this is all about love, connectivity, and financial prosperity. Some of y'all met us on the financial prosperity side where you see Ramel, or you see Boone, or you see Smitty, they advertising something, or you saw Janelle, right? Advertising how to make money and how to do X, Y, and Z. And now you're seeing the love side. You're seeing the community. You're seeing the, the connection. And you don't be upset that you you took it to that point. I think a lot of people enjoy the fact that you took it to that point. Uh, like you surprised yourself. You know, just you didn't think Waterworks would start popping off. But hey, look, that's because what we're holding on to inside we need to release. Everybody put, I'm releasing in the chat. You got to release the things that's holding you back. You got to release the people that's pulling you down. You got to release the thoughts that are negative. That's causing you to down road spiral. You got to understand that your life is in your hand. You are the creator of your world. God created creation, stars, moon, planet, create creatures, Animals, insects, bugs, all of the roaming around on the ground, birds, right? And then he created creators, humans. Your role is to create. So I want everybody to say, I'm the CEO of my world. You got to be the CEO of your world. You got to start employing people who fit the criteria to be in your life. 
Because guess what? Most people don't, unfortunately, and it's not their fault. It's none of our faults. But guess what? It's our responsibility. It's our responsibility to create the life that we deserve by putting the people in the right positions. So when I talk about mentorship, right, you got to choose the right mentor. Not every mentor is going to be a great mentor. Every and Some mentors are going to be a tormentor until you become an implementer and you start doing the thing that you need to do to get what you want in your life. But mistakes cost, right? Mentorship costs, but y'all already know mistakes cost more. So if you're doing it by yourself, that's how many mistakes you make. If you're doing it alone, and guess what? How long you do it for, look how many mistakes pile up. I'm not saying this to sound cool. I'm not saying this to just look cool. I'm saying it because, to, to be real, y'all, we need each other. I need you. You understand? Like, that's how, that's how real this is. And when you realize that, you start to operate like the MVP. The most valuable participant in your life. So the fact that Angelique went out, she started driving around, checking out on the property. Yes, that's what we want you to do. We want you to do research. Pe most people think research is just going in and looking at Google and saying that's research. That's not research. That's looking at somebody else's research. You got to do research. Research is you put yourself in the game and figure out what worked and what didn't work. That's research. You got to try it. You got to actually go and do the thing that you said that you want the result from. Okay, I want to go and get, I want to have multiple properties. How are you going to have a property without even going to check properties out? But there's strategies to help you become more effective in less time. So instead of you having to go look at all the properties, we give you systems for tools for success so that now you get a VA and you go have the VA go call out, or cold call people for the properties, right? We got a whole list source. You know, you got programs like Reonomy. You got bizbysell.com. Like you have all of these different sites. Those are strategic partnerships too. So the way that we're going to win y'all is through strategic partnerships. How many of y'all, let's be real though. If, if you feel like you're alone in this journey, just put a one in the chat because I, this is very important to understand. Because most of y'all, like just to be real, and I know we said it multiple times throughout the week, you're probably the best of the best in your family. You're probably the only one that's thinking about growth. You're probably the only one that's on a, on a trajectory of bettering people and everybody else around you keep telling you no. You're probably sharing your big dreams with small minds. You see, like it's probably happening. And I just want everybody to see it in real time. Look at all the ones in the chat. It's a good thing. It's always duality. Look how many ones in the chat. You know why the ones are in the chat? Because you're the one. Everybody, if you're watching, if you watch The Matrix, you, you're Neo. You're the one that's going to break everybody out of generational poverty, generational curses, generational trauma. But you got to be the one. You got to be the one to endure the pain. Because without pain, there's no pleasure. You got to be the one to endure pain because without pain, you don't get to your paradise. Without pain, you can't walk in your purpose. Without pain, you don't change. You stay the same. If you stay the same, nothing good happens for you. But if you look around, there's a change. There's a sense of change in this room. There's a sense of change now. I know the weather doesn't change on us, which is crap. All right, if you live in a great place with great weather, good for you. But I just came to New York like uh, yesterday, two days ago, or whatever. And well, I came yesterday. This feels like two days ago. But the point is, it's cold up here, right? And I left and it was warm and it was hot, I had shorts on. But it's going to change. Things are going to change. But guess what has to stay the same? The level of commitment. The level of commitment to transform your life. So I want to allow some other people to come up. I don't want to take too much of your time, but I just wanted to share some breakthroughs because Angelique gave us some good game, good value, and that was great, right? This, I mean, hey, look, this is our church. This is our love. This, 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 this is our community right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next person. Let's I do want to uh, get Show a lot of hands. Right? Show Queen Angelique some love in the chat, family. Jason, come through. What, what's your impact, King? Also, real quick, before Jay starts to speak, Jay was chilling too. Uh, hold on, Jay. Um, before you go, can can Angelique? I need you to get two two accountability partners this week. Can two people volunteer to be Angelique's accountability partner this week? And it's gonna go both ways. It's always mutual beneficial relationship. It's not if if you choose her, if you choose to be hers, she's gonna be choose. To, she's gonna choose to be yours, right? That's how it is. So reach out to her. Send her a direct message. I'm quite sure, Angelique, you're about to get like 20 direct messages, but send her a direct message real fast and um, build, build with her. She's a great person to build with. Let's continue to go. Send you a lot of love, Queen. What's up, Jay? Yo, can y'all hear me? Yes, sir. Man, this, this challenge, bro, has been 
just accessing the information has been a challenge. And I remember you saying in um in a couple of the things that it always gets harder before it gets easier, right? So I'm me and technology, we don't see eye to eye at all. <laughs> uh, and I'm struggling. I can't even get access to my files, bro. But normally I would have quit. Like I would have gave up. You know what I mean? But this, like, this is so powerful, bro. Like I'm I bought a computer. Like I'm trying to. I'm trying to do what I got to do to make this shit happen, man. I, I, I'm tired of uh, being the 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 person that everybody comes to because of my energy, but I can't actually provide value. So I just want to tell y'all, man, that I appreciate what y'all doing, man. It's it's big for me. It's real big. Jay, um, how, how explicit can we get right now? Because I'm loving what you're saying, by the way. But I want to add some value. How explicit can I be with you, bro? Very. <laughs> okay. So language, like one of the things that's sticking out to me is your language. And the reason why your language is sticking out to me is because I think that's part of what gets you down. It's, it's also part of what builds you up, right? It's like almost you're so great with energetically around other people, but to yourself, you're not as great to yourself. You're a little hard on yourself. And I understand that because most of us are our biggest critics, our toughest critics. But what I, what I would love for you is to love on yourself a little more. Can we do that right now? Can we do it in real time right now? Yeah. All right. And, and first of all, like you, you're gonna have a big breakthrough right now, just like just because you're doing this exercise and you're in front of hundreds, hundreds of people right now. I want you to say beautiful, loving things to yourself. And, and on top of it, as a king, you're doing this. Like usually, we got the queens; they come up here real powerful, and they, they get it in. But sometimes the kings they be sitting on the sideline, and the fact that you're here and you're sharing, bro, this is huge for us. Yeah. So I want you just to say three loving things to yourself. Actually, let me let me give you let me do it this way. Let's do it this way. Y'all can write this down if y'all need to. But let's say one thing you forgive yourself for. One thing you're happy for and one thing you commit. Going to going towards the future. OK. Um, I forgive myself for. Procrastinating and not living to my full potential. Okay, hold on, hold on. How did that feel? It felt good, man. It felt good. Okay. Y'all want to see something in real time? Let me show y'all something in real time. Language, power language. So I don't want you to say I. I want you to look at your screen and say you to yourself. Start it. Speak that way in third person to yourself. You ready? Run it back from the top. What's yeah. one thing that you forgive to yourself? Forgive yourself uh, for. You forgive yourself for procrastinating. No, no. no I forgive you. Oh, okay. I forgive you for procrastinating and not living to your full potential. Tell me how you felt between the two. It's 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 a difference, man. It's a difference. Tell me what tell me what you're feeling. I'm I'm trying to not get emotional, man. No, don't don't try. Don't try. I'm gonna have Jazz and my energy coach come up here and get on you for saying trying too much. But don't say try. I want you to be emotional, brother. Because that's part of your next level. You're so good at being highly emotional, energetically for other people when they're down. You're so good at being a the, the big brother. You're so good at being a protector. You're so good at being a person I could call on with my problems. You're so good where I could just dump my stuff on you. You're so good that I could just pour my baggage on you. You're so good, I know you're going to take care of me. You're so good, I know you're going to do this. You're so good that people are using you because you're not using yourself. I need you to use yourself right now. When we talk about use, y'all, you got to understand language. It's utilization. It's utilized. That's what use means. Some people get crazy, like, I don't want to use people. You use people regardless. Utilize. So if you use the correct word, you'll feel a lot better about saying it. But I appreciate you, King. I appreciate you for coming up here, being vulnerable, sharing, bro, because you're a beautiful person. You needed this spotlight. This is healing space. Everybody drop healing in the chat. This is healing. You don't know what you're doing for people. Right now, by you showing up for yourself, you're showing up for everybody else. And to be honest, this is what they love. They love this part. Everybody love this part about the accountability. They love this part because they see, damn, I'm not the only one. And now what happens? We build connection. And now we go and get the bag together. Now we done healed our emotional trauma. We done healed our relationship trauma. And we done healed our money trauma. And it's like, yo, now we're living. Because you can get the bag, but if you don't heal all those other parts, you just be sad with the bag. You don't want to be sad with the bag. So, okay, one thing you forgive yourself for, that was great. Now let's go into the next thing. One thing you're happy for. But you got to speak uh -huh. from third-person view. So you got to speak about it. I'm happy that you did X, Y, Z. I'm happy that you had 
you know, go that way. I'm happy that you took the last of what you had to be a part of this group. I'm happy mm-hmm. that you allowed yourself to to get the information that you need to grow and to surround yourself with the people that you need to grow. Mm. Like, how does that make you feel? Let's just be real. Don't give me no fluff because we're not here for that. As you can see, I'm not giving you no fluff. I don't need to do that. That's wasting your time. But tell me the truth. How do we really feel, King? I feel like uh like I'm being I'm lighter, honestly, right. emotionally lighter. Right. So what I want you to do is I want you to snap it up and clap it up for yourself right now. Snap it up for yourself. You understand? Look at what you're doing, brother. Like you're making real time change right now, real time results right now. Right now. And everybody's get to is getting to witness it. Guess what happens? Your story gives you your glory. So now you got people witnessing what's going on right now. So guess what? You're getting the glory. I'm showing y'all in real time how it really works. Look, look at the chat, bro. Look at the chat. You ain't never Thank had you. much this much love in your life at once. Thank y'all. Thanks. No, no. Look, look, look in. Your, your camera and thank that person that's in front of you. The person has been with you for 24 seven. The person has been with you through thick and thin. The person has been with you, even though you put that person down, even though you crap on that person, even though you make you, you complain about that person, that person has never given up on you. That person has always been there right there with you. Got to love that person. Got to appreciate that person. I'm so, I'm so happy for you, King. You're doing such a great job. And this right here is you're going to have a tremendous breakthrough from this. Tremendous. And you're going to be much lighter and feel amazing and go out there and accomplish. All right, cool. So the next thing is, the last one, what is one thing I commit to, right? So what are you committing to going forward? I'm committed. I'm committed to changing the trajectory of my family history. I'm committed to providing something that my son can't go out here and get from nobody else. Right. Remember, remember during the week, I I remember I told you, I said, you want to make sure like you are the person that your kids can hang up on their wall. When the, when the teachers go, who's your most inspirational person. Right. And then Ramel, I think he said it yesterday or the day before, but he said it at some point. And I was like, this is the energy that everybody needs to carry because it's unfortunate that you're, you send your kids to school, you work and you slave for your child. Everything that you do, you do for your children, but then they go and they recognize somebody else for being their leader in their world. Mm. If that hits you, go, mm. put the mm in the chat. So for you, you're doing such a great job, but I want you to be specific. Like it's a power in being specific and it's power in getting to the point. But be specific. Like when you say you commit to it, what is it exactly that you're committing to? And it has to be tangible, has to be measurable, has to be relatable, has to actually be there that I can see physically touch or at least, you know, measure in some sort of way. So what are you committing to? I'm committed to getting my business off of the ground, starting my or getting my credit right so I can get my funding for my business so that I can stop being scared and take steps into actually getting my business off the ground. That's what I'm committed by to. By when? Give me the by when. Give me the by, by when. By the end of next week. I have off all next, next week? week. What's I next took week? all next week off. Ooh. Yo, yeah. You're, yeah, you're ready. I see what you're saying. You took all week off, so you say, I'm about to get to it. Okay, yeah. I'm loving that. Everybody send some love in the chat for Jason. Jason, look. Um, also, w- w- send us your... um. Cash app, put your cash app. Danielle, reach out and get his cash app, please. Or Moya, get his cash app. Uh, you have cash app, right? Yeah. We don't yeah, see I'll something. Post it. I'll post it right now. Something. Um, let me ask you a question before we let you go. And be, be totally transparent with us. Okay. But just let, let me know and let us know, what was your experience like doing this? Man, it's been up and down, like, because the stuff that I could catch was so powerful to me. Oh, wait, like, my bad. I, didn't, I wasn't specific, so I'm giving you the wrong intention. Sorry. I mean from this exercise right here. Oh, what did this do for me? Yeah. It's helping me to realize that I got me, and I can't do nothing without me first. It's helping me to realize that I got to do it. Nobody's going to help me. It's me. And, bro, you, you, you're not you're not afraid. Like, uh, fear is false evidence appearing real for a reason. Most people think it's fear. And fear is like, it's like, it, it's like the, 
it's like the caution over a real a real present danger right it's like the, the caution over a real present danger right here a real present danger a lion that's eight feet tall getting ready to attack me and i got nowhere to run to that that's some fear right anxiety that's caution over imagine future danger like it's not even here it's nowhere near around us it's just in the mind and we're thinking about it but what i want you to look at it's not fear. It's just false evidence appearing real. You got to face everything and rise through strategic partnership. You need to, you, you're doing it alone. So it seems scary. You, you ever get on that? You ever get on these, on these roller coaster rides and it's by yourself? Like you never really get on roller coaster rides by yourself. But and when you, when you're going into the roller coaster, you're not that scared because you got a buddy right next to you when you're going into it. The only yeah. time you get scared is when you realize that you're by yourself on that roller coaster, even next to somebody. That's it. So it's, it's fear comes from the thought of being alone and you got to get a strategic partner. So who's here? What, what do you do in business? You said what? What's your business? What? Uh, Right now I'm doing mobile detailing, but after this class, I realized that I'm probably going to end up switching that. But the mobile detailing is the avenue for me to get into something that I can sell online and, and, and use my time better because mobile detailing is working for money. Okay, so you, you got some way, you got to figure out a way to monetize that. And I know perfect ways to monetize that. One, one way, y'all, this is one way going to monetize anything that you do physically is one way to monetize it. Even if you work at McDonald's, I'm telling you, ebook. Ebook yeah. on how you did the thing that you're doing. Ebook on how you started doing the thing that you've done. Ebook, 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 audio, 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 podcast, 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 all of these things that's digital, digital asset. But who's here willing to partner up with King Jason? And it doesn't have to be. Oh, you're partnering up in his business. It's just you become accountability buddy or you can utilize his service or, you know, other people that may want to have his service. Y'all could create an affiliate through that and that you could bring people in. But everybody nonetheless should be, you know, doing some type of funding. So add funding to your business, too, by the way. Everybody yeah. should be getting somebody funded because we all know somebody can get us funded if we're not the ones getting the funding. Right. Smitty done told you already. So please, if, if you can get as many people funding, that's a check right there. Check yeah. right there, please. Just make sure y'all know. So, who can partner up with him? Who will be a strategic partner with Jason? Let me know in the chat. Please reach out to him, please, so that way he can get a strategic partner. And just because he gets one, you get one. So, please understand. You go help somebody. Somebody's gonna help you. It's a win-win situation. Everybody, drop win-win in the chat. Tanya reaching out right now. She said, "Check the DM." She's hitting you up. All right, we're gonna send you that cash app today. Uh, and let's continue to move. I know that was long, but you, that was important. That was super important. Everybody send some love to Jason for coming up here and being vulnerable and sharing. In fact, I want everybody to unmute and give him that love and beautiful energy back the way he gave to us because he, he gave us breakthroughs. We saw ourselves oh, him. Hey, Jason. Hey, Jason. Hey, Jason. Hey, Jason. Hey, Jason. Peace, King. Hey, hey, bro. Hey, bro. Awesome. There's a lot of us out here like that. We got it. We got it. Thank you. So one of the things I like about that is I heard a lot of guys in the back. Sure. So one thing is what I hear is this. I hear a lot of women cheer men on. Like I, I do hear that. A lot of women cheer men on, but in the media, it looks like women tear men down. Right? And it's vice versa on the other side too. Like a lot of men cheer women on, but in the media, it looks like men tear women down. Right? So I want us to get present to all of the stereotypes that have been bursted, busted, and just eliminated this week. Right? Just think about it. We, do, we, we talk about running and operating businesses, but you got to run and operate the business of yourself first. The business of self. The business of self. When you can run and operate the business of self, you can go and you can pour into somebody else. You can go and you can pour into other places. You can go and do the things that you know that you could be doing right here, right now. It's all about opportunity. This is all about opportunity, y'all.
All right, cool. Let's go take a couple more hands because we got to get ready to close out. But how are we feeling so far? Drop something in the chat. Let me know if, if this is great. If this has been empowering. This has been inspiring. Let us know in the chat. Who's next? Queen Petra, come talk to us, Queen. Good morning. Thank y'all so much. So um, time tracking literally has been just a game changer for me. Time tracking and knowing what I'm doing each hour so I won't procrastinate. It's just really been a game changer. And mentorship, realizing the importance of, you know, being in an environment where it's mentorship and these accountability calls. It's just been really awesome. Like, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Everybody send some love in the chat. Great stuff, Queen. We appreciate you being vulnerable and sharing. Uh, let's continue to go. Great stuff. I'm, I'm loving the fact that people are sharing today who didn't share or get a chance to share last time, uh, get a sh chance to share now. So I love it. Absolutely. Let's go with Queen Shianti. Queen. And let us know if that's all you driver. Oh, you there. You there. All right. All right. Queen, let us know how to pronounce your beautiful name. Hold on. Unmute yourself. I'll be wondering why y'all still got me spotlight. I'll be looking at it like, okay, you're not going to take me off this screen now. Hello? <laughs> take your boy off this can screen, yo. <laughs> yes, we can hear you, yeah, Queen. I'm sorry. I'm driving. I'm sorry. Take your um, time. <laughs> uh, this week has been powerful. You know, I've owned businesses in the past, but I never knew really how to structure them. So, and uh, I'm a truck driver, so as y'all can see, uh, that's what I'm doing. Uh, and I decided to, you know, buy my own truck this, last year. So it's been almost a year. So, like I said, I, I've taken a lot out of it. I've decided to come on board because I want to make a change in my life and make a difference to my family uh, and uh, just keep moving forward. Yeah, you're, you're already moving forward. I want Jasmine to provide some value on that. Jasmine. Is our energy coach. She's going to keep you uh, energized. But Jasmine, go ahead. Add some value on that. Yes, Queen. First of all, I just need to know, how do you pronounce your name? Shantae. Shantae. Okay. Because I'm reading it. I'm like, yeah, I like that. But maybe, let me make sure I don't butcher it. All right. Um, yes, Queen. I mean, just hearing you, seeing you stay committed to, you know, the course, the classes, everything that we are doing, you know, that's a bet on yourself that you're taking. So you are very, very powerful in that itself, that alone. Right. So your next steps, whatever that does look like for you, just analyzing it and committing to it. You already have your commitment. So being more consistent and, you know, utilizing the environment that you in, Queen, you know, we, we appreciate you. We appreciate your energy. We appreciate your light. We appreciate your smile, your endurance. So yes, everything that you're doing, it really does matter. Like everything that you do, it does matter. I'm not going to do too much energy because I don't know what's in front of you on the road with the truck now. But just know <laughs> that you, I know you got, you got control of the truck, but you have control of your life, right? Yeah, you have your absolutely. control of your energy. You have control of your choices, your decisions. So everything that you're doing right now, 10x it. We're going bigger and better for that battery in your back. You heard? Yeah, I heard you. I bet. All right. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Sunshine, I'm going to bring up one more person. I, I really wish we could just continue and, and do it. But unfortunately, Tom is not on our side. Tom has us. So we are going to have to close out shortly. But for right now, let's bring up the last person. Um, let Sunshine bring them up. Right. Queen Andrea, come talk to us, Queen. I'm mute, love. Good morning. Good Hi. morning. We're rising. How are you? Yes. Can, can you guys hear me? We sure yeah. can. Perfect. Thank you so much. Um, you surprised me, honestly. I, ain't, I really didn't think you was going to call me. So I'm here. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm here in Walmart. Uh, you know, once again in my life, take care of everybody but me. So this week, I just wanted to look at me. And it was tough sometimes, but most of the time I did it. It just was hard. You know, it's hard. You just got to put everybody else to the side, which is almost impossible. Because everybody else is screaming. And I can't scream. And, and then when I do scream, nobody's listening. So this week was an opportunity for me to to do that most of the time. 
and I appreciate oh, you. Hold on, that. real quick, Queen. Let me let me ask let me add some value here if you don't mind. Do you mind me adding value yeah. right now? Nah, okay, I wait. don't. I, I, I'm, I'm dating you right now. Thank you. I appreciate. It. I appreciate you too. Um, I want to say like I, that that smile that you have is so beautiful. Like I can feel the energy, but I also feel the pain. But I want you to know that your pain is your power. Don't hold back what you feel inside. Like uh, allow yourself to grow, allow yourself to heal, allow yourself to see yourself. When you say, "Yo, I just wanted to see myself," think about that, y'all. I'm about to get deep with y'all. If I can get deep, somebody put deep in the chat. I'm about to get so deep with y'all. Like, imagine this. Imagine that a day comes where you no longer be able to see yourself. You no longer be able to feel who you are. You no longer be able to walk and talk and do the things that you do currently. Let, let's bring let's bring her back up on the screen so I can see her. So you 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 never like imagine that day comes, but imagine years go by. Imagine years go by, hundred years, three hundred years. Just imagine it, and then what happens? If you could just see yourself again, like imagine if you were able to give it, if you were given a chance to live again. Imagine if you were able to give a chance to go out there, walk, talk, breathe, smell the flowers, just be able to do the simple things in life. You, how would you feel not seeing yourself for so long and now able just to see yourself? So when she said that, like, it hit me because it's like being renewed, it's like being renewed. T t tell me, tell me, tell me like what that experience was like for you. First, first tell me how it was prior and then tell me what the result was afterwards. Um, it's like just feeling renewed. Wait, no, start, I, start from I the just... pain first. Start, start from where it was before and then tell me about the, how it feels renewed. Cause I want to go through your journey with you. It's like, um, before it's almost like overwhelmed like an overwhelming feeling you know i was like you can't like i like i can't breathe and I, I couldn't breathe and i couldn't walk you know i couldn't experience the really simple things you know and like almost like like uh like sleep paralysis like you want to and but you can't you know you, you want to look you want to feel you want to touch you want to express and basically you want to like inhale, you know, I, uh, like using all of the five senses and you can't use any of them, you know, just like just sitting there looking outside at the world and, you know, you really can't do anything. You're just forced to watch and you're forced to have all these feelings of uh, wanting to express and wanting to share and just not being able to. That's tough. 100%. 100%. Look, every, write this down, y'all. Everybody wants these five things. And if any one of these five things are broken down, you're going to have a break in your, or a crack in your relationships. doesn't matter if it's platonic or romantic. But everybody wants to feel loved, heard, felt, seen, and appreciated. You have to appreciate your time first, right? You got to appreciate yourself first. You got to love who you are now, right? And I, I, I'm about to get heavy on y'all. Y'all said I was deep. I'm about to get heavy on you. But the reason why I gave y'all the preference of saying, imagine if you couldn't see yourself because regardless of how you feel, there's going to come a day where you no longer walk, you no longer talk, you no longer do any of the things that you are taking for granted right now. Most of you are taking for granted every single thing in your life and you wonder why things aren't working. I told y'all I'm gonna get deep right now. I told y'all I'm gonna get heavy right now. When you think about it, you gotta love yourself. You got to love yourself. Most people can't love themselves. Why? Because you wasn't taught how to love. You don't know how to love. You don't know what love feel like. How am I going to love if I don't know what love feel like? How am I going to give love if I don't know how? I never got it before. How can I ever do it? Right? So you got to love yourself. You got to feel your power. When we talk about people want to be felt, you got to be felt. Most people want to be touched up and felt on you because it feels good to have energy on your body. It feel good to be in nature. That's nature, your nature. So when two pieces of nature come together, it just feel good. It feels good. The sensation, the touch, it just feels good. But you gotta feel yourself. You gotta feel your power. You gotta know who you are, 
right? When we talk about being seen, you got to see yourself. You got to see yourself at the highest level. Some of y'all see yourself so down and like, and I'm not saying everybody on this call because I told y'all most of y'all in here, if not all of you, are the best of the best in the family. But even you being the best of the best in your family, isn't there another level that you can go to? Yeah. Is it somewhere you could reach higher? So when you talk, when you talk about these five things that people want to have, being loved, felt, seen, heard, appreciated, you got to start hearing yourself. When you speak, you got to stop hating your voice. How many of y'all hate your voice? Put a one in the chat. How many of y'all hate your voice? Oh, I hate my voice. Oh. It's going to come a day where your voice is no longer heard. You better love every second of your voice. You better appreciate every, appreciate every second of your voice. You got to understand that, look, I was created. I was chosen by the ancestors. The ancestors chose me. I'm a great. You mean to tell me you don't want to hear the voice of a great? So you get hyped because you hear Jay-Z voice. You get hyped because you hear Beyonce. You get hyped because you hear other people's voice, but you don't get hyped because you hear yours. But then you want your child to listen to you. Then you want other people to love you. When you don't love yourself, you don't appreciate yourself. You can't sit and talk about yourself. You can't look in the mirror and say you're amazing to yourself, but you want somebody else to do it. And this is this is not going to you, Andrea. This is just speaking on it just for everybody to get it because we're talking about it. This is very important, y'all. This is why you most of us don't get the things that we want in our lives because we're not willing to pay the price. We want somebody else to pay the price. Are you are you doing the things that you need to do in order to have what you want? Just saying the ancestors chose you. If you feel like the ancestors chose you, put the ancestors chose me in the chat. If you feel like you're the one that's going to break the generational curses, if you feel like you want to unlearn everything you had to learn to survive so that way you can now uh, uh, learn some new things to succeed, I need you to put that's me in the chat. All right? The ancestors chose you. But what are you going to do about it? So those five things, when you next time you think about your relationship and you try to blame your partner for something, let's see if you broke one of those rules, making that person feel loved, heard, seen, felt, appreciated. If you've broken one of those, I promise you the relationship is fractured a little bit. All you got to do is fix that. And sound is healing. People heal by sound. Right, you could do the sound bowl, you could do binaural beats, you could do meditation music, you could do 532 hertz, you can get it all. You can do 444 hertz, but guess what? Sound heals. Anybody ever like stepped on your foot or something and you get ready to be upset, but as soon as they said, I'm sorry, I apologize, magically it all went away. You upset about your, your boyfriend or your girlfriend, but as soon as they said, I'm sorry, magically it all went away. People heal by sound. And you got to heal by your own sound. You got to heal. You got to see your voice, hear your voice, and love your voice. And if you're not utilizing your voice because you're not speaking from the heart, if you don't like if you don't like your voice, it's because you're not resonating with yourself. It feels weird. You got to speak from the heart. Everybody put I'm speaking from the heart in the chat. So when, when, when I came up, Ramel came up, Smitty, boom, what we did, we spoke from the heart. That's why you resonated with it so hard. Because everything that we said was real. We left it on the line. We gave you everything we had. You got to come out here. You got to give you, you got to give yourself everything you got every day. Don't hold back. Don't play around. Don't play small. Think big, go higher. Like if you got money goals, go higher. If you got relationship goals, go higher. If you got health goals, go higher. There's four levels to business, y'all. Four levels. The highest level is the imagination level. That's the person that's creating the ideas. That person gets paid the most and had the most impact. So has the most income and the most impact. That person now gets to delegate things to the next person. The next level of business communication. That person has a little bit less impact and a little bit less income than the person who created the idea, but they still live a tremendous life. They're not bound by time and they have 80% of their time. If you have a nine to five job, you only have 20% of your time. But the person who communicates the idea and the person who creates the idea, they have 80% of their time. If you like to be, if you like to be in that 1%, if you like to be in that top 10%, that top 30% and have 80% of your time, put a one in the chat. See, now when we get down to the unification level, this is the person that's the manager. This is the person that runs. You might be a manager, right? Remember the lady who was doing, a, she was showing you how to purchase hotels. She wasn't aspiring to purchase hotels. She was coming in there to be a manager. Her goal was to be a manager. That's that's how, that's the ceiling that you see in yourself. Just to still be bound by the time, make a little bit more money, 
So when they pay you six figures, they own you. You're a slave. You got to do what I say to do. And you got to ask for vacation time. You got to ask when you got to go pee. You got to ask when you got to take lunch. Ask, ask, ask. You got to dictate now. It's time for you to tell what's going on. It's time for you to tell your story. Everybody put, I'm telling my story in the chat. We're going to close it up. But I'm telling you, you got to tell your story. So the implementation level is next. See, when I told you about the unification level, that managerial level, that person gets paid a little bit more than the person that implements the idea and has a little bit more impact, but they're still slaves to the time. Now, the person who implements the idea, that's the person that feels overworked and underpaid. If you feel overworked and underpaid, you got to tell your story. You got to be able to practice communicating. You got to be able to share. You got to come up here to tell people, get, get into the environment where you can dictate your life. But the person who implements the idea, they get paid the least and they have the least amount of impact, but they're the most valuable person. Are you the most valuable person, but getting paid the least and having the least impact? Got to, got to see that. Got to see it. Four levels of business. Which level are you at right now? Guess what? It's not that it's a crime that you're at any level, but that's where you got the awareness. See, it's not that you lack anything else, but other than the awareness. The money is here. It's not that the money needs to be printed for you to get it. It's the awareness to understand that you don't make money. You do what? What do you do? If, if you don't make money, what do you do? Put it in the chat. Put the answer in the chat. I know I'm going off on y'all right now, but I just want to make sure we get the value. We collect it. We collect money. Your job is to collect money. How do you collect money? You collect money by understanding how to add value somewhere. People purchase because of value. People purchase because of result. People purchase because if they take what you have to offer, it's going to enhance their lives. What do you have right now that can enhance somebody's lives? The number one thing that you all have is a story. You've all been through some stuff. Everybody here has been through some trauma and you made it out. Got to share your story, baby. Your story will give you your glory. So which, which, where are you at on your totem pole, right? Where are you at in your stature? Where are you at? Stature, significance, and systems. What's your, who, who are you as a person? What's your significance of you existing and you adding value? And then what systems do you have around it? That's going to help you get to be paid to be who you are versus being paid at a job. You got to get paid to be who you are. Everybody say, I'm getting paid to be who I am. Put that in the chat. I'm getting paid to be who I am. We're going to bring up two more people. Then we got to close. I know it's just I, I want to get some hands I didn't get to see before. I see a bunch of faces that I didn't see before that I want to get to. So let's um, get it. please, let's let's get them in. All right. 30 seconds or less. Ashley Marie, i seen you in the chat, queen. Tell your story. i seen you in the <laughs> chat. Okay. So I'm going to try to get to this without being emotional. <laughs> um, so Wait, hold I on. Hold on. Ashley. Ashley. Hold on. Yes. I, I want you to be you. If it's emotional, it's fine. <laughs> We're here to support you. We're here to hold you up. But be who you are. Let let your okay. true authenticity <laughs> come out. Okay. Well, uh, Coach, I did DM you. <laughs> um, this week has been um absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> it has been so impactful. Um, when we talk about environment, um, you know, I really took. I really took initiatives to really implement that into my life. And so um, right now, like as far as like the physical environment, I am choosing me. I'm choosing my children. Um, <laughs> so recently I was I was approved, but prior to even joining, I already was looking for apartments. I was applying for apartments. And um, it's just so recently, I was just recently approved for a two-bedroom apartment for me and my kids. And um, the whole reason of me leaving my physical environment is because it's really dragging me down. It's not pulling me up. Um, specifically the, the children's father, he is very toxic, but I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna um, talk about his character or downgrade his character. But um, it's a lot of stuff in connection as to, that leads to why I really chose to um, to relocate. I really wanna go into the, the new year I really want to focus on my personal growth and development. And actually, you know, I'm a previous a mentee. I did the previous mentorship with Boone Smitty and Ramel. And, um, you know, I also attend the Invest Fest. So a part of me is in the Investment, Invest Fest. Um, um, and a part of me um, obtaining business funding, I was able to invest in a coach. So I'm actually out here in Atlanta now. I'm preparing to go to his.
Wait, you got on mute for some reason. Can we unmute her? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. <clears throat> okay. So I invested in I, I met a, I met someone at the front. I mean, at the I'm investors. I met a coach uh, with the business money that I had. I invested into this coach. Um, I'm now actually getting preparing to um, you know go to his office, but we're going to be start recording my course. And it is so powerful when you get in the room and you network with people because I didn't know that I would meet this person, and he's you know, well-connected. So fast forward, I'm in the process of developing my course, but my story is after having my son, I did experience postpartum depression. And so I experienced it where like a lot of the, a lot of the difference, like, so after a woman gets birth, typically they experience like baby blues. And I know, I don't, I know I have limited time. I just want to go into it. So some of the symptoms are like extreme sadness, guilt, loneliness, and things like that. And Despite the fact that I was surrounded by family, I still found myself alone. And it wasn't up until like I was really desperate and depressed. I was really in a dark and deep depressive state. And that's when I tapped into financial literacy. So from there, I kind of like just took off in 2021. So now I'm developing a course helping women basically overcome um, mental challenges and mental hurdles and really step into their purpose and really, um, you know, dig into finances and things like that. So that's my whole thing. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share because that was really on my heart. <laughs> and I just wanted to, you know, put the face, I mean, put the, you know, the the face with the, you know, the the DM messages and stuff. But I just wanted to share that with you because this is my first time sharing. I would never rose my hand, but something inspired me. God told me, put some in my heart, like, you need to share your story because you don't know, you know, someone may be going through something similar or experiencing something similar. So I just wanted to share. Right. You, 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 to be totally transparent, you're growing in real time. Like yeah. that's, that's your growth. I told y'all last week, this week you're a different person. Everybody, if you're different, if you're a different person this week, everybody drop I'm different in the chat. If you're a different person this week than you were last week, drop I'm different in the chat. So if anybody wants to partner with Ashley, anybody wants to be a strategic partner and build and be accountable, she's building a course. You might want to build your course, information she might be able to provide to you. Or if you feel like her course might be something that's dope, right? You want to stay in contact with each other. Because once again, when you get to these rooms, it's about who you can network across with. It's about the people that you can build with. It's these relationships, y'all. And I, I, I want to send love to you, Ashley, because it's not easy dealing with what you're dealing with. That's a lot of things going on that, that's happening back to back. You did reach out. You spoke to me about that. Um, we want to make sure that we surround ourselves with like-minded individuals, people who can help us, people who can support us. But also don't forget, it's both ways, right? We wanna be able to support each other. So if Ashley can provide some value to you and you can provide some value to her, like, please let her know in the chat right now and at least get two strategic partners. Then let me know when y'all got them, okay? Let me know when y'all got the partnerships. We got time for one more person. Everybody send some love to Ashley in the chat. We got time for one more person. And then we gotta wrap up y'all. Omar. Talk to us, King. Yo, if y'all don't stop oh, highlighting my screen with my, my my look at this background, man. Never mind, just go ahead. I want to start off by saying you can be exclusive with me. Um, I love everything that you've been doing this whole week. Um, I've definitely Wait, hold been... on, it's not exclusive. Hold on, hold on. I love where you're going. Mm -hmm. It's explicit. <laughs> explicit. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. You can be explicit with me as as much um as you as you can. Uh, I just wanted to say. <laughs> Um, this week has been amazing for me. I've definitely been honored in my circle. Um, being around people that want to change their lives is a big difference. I remember, I think it was after the first day, I texted my older cousin because I know he was into business and he wanted to, you know, elevate his life. And I've been posting, like, uh, the seminars and everything. He was like, yeah, Yo, you need to stop with the seminars. I was like, you know what? I got you. See who's who wants to elevate their life and who doesn't who doesn't want to elevate their lives anymore. So I just want to say thank you for bringing me around people that want to change their lives. And I really appreciate it. Yeah, yes, you got to thank Ramel, Smitty, and Boom, right? Because they've been the individuals who was out on the front line doing the advertisement. I've been rocking with them. I've been on the back end. We'll travel to place to place. But they've been the ones that's got to get in front of the camera and do the advertisement. So it's about strategic partnerships. But I want y'all to thank them. Say thank you, Ramel, Smitty, and Boom. Drop that in the chat. Uh, because without them, this is not possible, right? And it's all of us. So without you, this is impossible either because you could be doing something else, right? So just please understand we have to give love and appreciate each other, but don't forget to appreciate yourself because without you showing up, King, none of this is possible. So I want you to thank you, my brother. All right. So thank last thing, no problem. Omar, great stuff. And also, yeah, let's get you some strategic partnerships too. What do you do? What's your business? So right now, um, 
I'm a real estate agent and I've been working on getting business funding. I'm getting my credit up. I've done the self. I've done the rent reporters. So I'm waiting for all that to kick in so I get myself business funding. But I really do want to get started in credit repair. Okay, credit repair. So you already know, Smitty gave out the credit repair software and everything like that. Tap into it. Make sure you get inside the mentorship if you haven't put down a deposit already. Um, this is another thing. You might come in here for one thing and you might leave with another thing, but guess what? It's all one thing. It's you. That's all it is. It's making a better move. Everybody put in the chat, I'm a better man. I know we said I'm different, and a different person is a better person. You're a better you, right? I'm a better me. Put that in the chat. Um, I also want to do this. Anybody who screenshot this and then tag us on Instagram or whatever social media you have, but you have to summarize what this call has been for you in a week. We're going to give out them cash apps, right? We have one person who wanted cash app. That's Jason already. But if anybody else has wants some cash apps in here, let me know in the chat. Put it in the chat because we've been giving out cash apps all week. We've been giving out cash apps all week. But once again, the cash app, I don't want you to be motivated by money. I want you to be inspired by the impact, right? Don't be motivated by the money. Don't, don't, I'm not saying you can't let the money motivate you. If you got a million dollar deal, yo, let's get this deal done. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can still have that. But what I'm saying is understand that impact is going to create the income. But just because you got income doesn't mean you got the impact. If you can't get cash app, all you got to do is be the first person to, one, I'm taking the top three, first person to tag us on Instagram with a screenshot of this. And if you don't have, um, if you don't have cash app, we're just going to do something different for you. We're still going to get you the cash. I don't have cash app. That's why Danielle be cash apping everybody. <laughs> Danielle be cash apping. So I don't have cash app. But um, let's continue to go. I want to close out. But I want Sunshine to come up and give some words of advice and words of wisdom. I uh, do apologize. We couldn't get everybody's hand. It's unfortunate time. Once again, time. So you have to move with speed. You got to be the first one to put your hand up. You got to be the first one to raise your hand when you come in the room. And be the first one to speak out. But I, I definitely wanted to hear from Stephanie. I've spoken with Stephanie before as well. Uh, Sharon. I wanted to hear from Nikki. I haven't heard Nikki, but I've seen Nikki in the chat a lot. Dr. Embers. I heard Dr. Embers in the chat a lot. I haven't got a chance to speak. Chris. So if this is the last, let, first of all, don't let this be the last time that we all speak. If you are inside of our Fun Your Freedom Challenge, we're going to do something special for y'all, whoever's inside the Fun Your Freedom Challenge, and you already know, obviously, but uh, just making that sure that you understand. This is the opportunity for you to change your life. And when I say this, I'm talking about now. I'm talking about the present. When you operate in the present, you get gifted with things. And I want to make sure y'all get gifted with sunshine. Uh, getting y'all present before we leave. So, Sunshine, go ahead. Give us some word for the day, Queen. We are rising, family. This has been such an amazing, powerful call. Everyone that had the opportunity to come up and speak, there's a part of me that resonated with each and every single last one of you. Um, Queen Andrea, I felt like just looking at you, you look like someone that's been smiling through your pain your entire life. And there's so many of us that I could honestly say that are pouring so much of ourselves into other people, making other people the priority than ourselves. However, I want y'all to all pat yourselves on the back because you chose to be in this present moment at this time. Like you chose to get in this challenge. For many of you, I believe you are the ones that are actually getting ready to get into the next three months of your life that is about to transform your entire life. If you never put yourself first prior to this moment, I just wanna applaud you for taking this step right here to put in yourself first because you could not have made a better decision. Um, I want you to get to the point where you start not just making yourself a priority, but I want you to love on yourself the way you love on other people. I want you to make yourself a priority all the time, like first and foremost, and make it a habit to the point where people now get from your overflow. And I want to look at, I want everybody to look at, look at all the things that you have created from a place of not having nothing to give from a place of depletion. So could you imagine what you could create for yourself? 
how you could change the trajectory of your life, how you could change the legacy and leave a legacy for your family when now you make yourself the priority and everything that you are pouring into other people, you're now pouring into yourself and now everybody else is blossoming from your overflow. Do you understand what that would be like, family? So go out here and look, y'all have been amazing this week. I know every single coach in here. I know King Boone, King Ramel, King Mogul, King Smitty. I know the Mindset Mogul and every single coach in here. This group has been phenomenal. Y'all energy alone. I, I love y'all already. And so I want y'all to just, again, pat yourselves on the back for showing up for yourself today and make sure that it continues from now on. I want you to keep shining your light and make sure if you don't do anything else, choose you and walk in your power. We love y'all to life. All right, we're getting ready to close out. Um, I, I just, um, oh wait, Vanessa hit me up and said we wanted to bring up one more person because they, they needed to come up. Vanessa, where are you? But we, we got to close up, y'all, because we got to stick to our integrity. Can, can we get two more minutes? If we can get two more minutes, put two more minutes in the chat. Yeah. Uh, Vanessa, where, where are you at? Someone keeps saying to bring up Nikki B. She need it right now in the chat. Nikki. Um, all right, bring up Nikki. But look, we can't go over 30 seconds. So let's bring up Nikki because we do have to be respectful of everybody's time, unfortunately, y'all. Uh, like, I will be on here all day, like, honestly, because I love just being with y'all building. Like, that's, be honest, but unfortunately can't do that. So, where, where is she? Is she, y'all bring her up here? Okay, I see you. What's up, Nikki? What's going on, Queen? Hey. Um, this group has been um very impactful for me. Um, I resonate with Andrea. Um, I'm sorry. Don't be but, sorry, y'all. Let me why you get yourself together. Go ahead, go take take, take a moment. In my Anytime, time, y'all. Don't make yourself feel bad. We're sorry. Just say thank you for your patience. You know, let's try that on. Try that on. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your patience. Mm -hmm. In my family, I'm the one who takes care of everything and everyone. And I barely put into myself. Um, I take care of my mom. She's here with me now because of her memory. Um I recently just quit my job because what I was hearing from my husband and my kids is like, I'm not here enough because I work at night. And here it is. I'm thinking that I'm doing everything and my all and I'm still not enough, you know, is what I was hearing. But um, in my 20s, I've been in healthcare for almost 30 years. I'm 47 now. But in my 20s, I knew I didn't belong clocking in. I knew that. But I didn't know what to do. And this year, over the summer, after discovering, I call them them boys, you know, Mogul, Smitty, and Boom. I realized that there is more and I can get it. And I feel like it's that I can reach it. It's right there. But I feel like fear is getting in the way because in my 20s, I used to like, I used to quit easily. Um, and I almost feel like I used to set myself up for failure. So I ended up um, joining the mentorship program and all those old feelings are coming back up. But I know I've finished things in the past. Yep. I got a degree, my social and science degree in x-ray and I've been doing CT and stuff for the last 10 years, but I don't want that same fear to get in the way, but I feel like I, I will finish it because I completed those things in the past. But um, I feel like if I don't finish, it'll be disrespectful of me to take this spot when I know there's other people that wanted this spot. So I, I just want to complete it and get through it. But I do believe that I've learned enough this past week in able to some value push. to you, Queen. Allow, allow me to add some value to you. First of all, everybody send some love in the chat if you haven't already. I, I want to say thank you for your vulnerability and transparency. Uh, one one thing that I love about you is that 
<laughs> you're getting through what you're going through. Even right now, I can see you're pushing yourself to get through what you're going through. I just want to add some value. How how explicit can I be with you? Go all the way. Okay. So everyone, I know y'all you're, you're looking, but I want you to realize every time I ask the same questions, right? How explicit can I be with you? Please don't assume things. Make sure you get people's consent before you can just tell them things. Because what happens is most people will feel like you're attacking them, even though you're, you're physically not, right? So for you, you already are enough. The only thing that's holding you back is you. The only thing that's holding you back, you, it, it's, a, it's a method. In this method, I always say these things. I'm like, you're using your tactics. It's a tactic. And it's a tactic because it's a payoff for you. What we call, we call this your act. Your act is what are you acting like? And in this moment, your act is something that you put on in order to push the real reason aside, right? To, to, to hide the real reason. And one of the things that you do is you talk yourself out of things. I don't want you going forward from this day to talk yourself out of anything. It's the language. I'm telling y'all, if we just change the language, we have a 37% increase of productivity, cash flow, opportunities. Like This is document. Y'all can go look up what I'm saying. So I want you to understand the power of your language. Your language is past-based language, meaning that you keep seeing the same things in your life and you have a hard time doing the things that you want to do because the what's in the past is holding on to you. Imagine that you're running a sprint, but you have a tire strapped to you. Imagine that you're running a sprint and then you have a car strapped to you. Imagine that you're running a sprint and you have a boulder holding that car that's holding that tire. How fast are you really going? You're still moving. You're still doing what you do. You're still working. But you're going nowhere. And that's what the language, what negative language does. It makes you do all of this stuff that you get worked up and you realize I'm not going anywhere. So going forward, you must utilize positive language. I will. I am. Everybody put that in the chat. I will. I am. I will. I am. Thank you. So for you, Nikki, you're not alone. Who here can be an accountability buddy for Nikki? I need two people. And hey, watch this. Watch how powerful you are. Watch. You think that you're alone. This is the crazy stuff. It's perspective, right? One person will see the glass half empty. The other person will see the glass half full. Why would the same measure affect somebody two different ways? Everybody drop the answer in the chat. Why would the same measure uh, affect somebody two different ways? <laughs> Got to see the answer in the chat. But Nikki, what's the why? Why would this? that same measure affect a person two different ways. Can you can you tell me why? <laughs> Perspective, right? Your mindset, whatever you set your mind to. So going forward, I'm only setting my mind to success. Say that right now, Queen. Going forward, I'm only setting my mind to success. All right, let's try it again. We're going to break you down real quick so we can build you up. So inhale deeply. Slowly release. And now, say it. Going forward, I will only set my mind to success. Say it like as if by you saying that, you're going to succeed. Going forward, I'm only going to set my mind to success. Wait, hold up. I'm hearing it. I'm hearing you come from out of it a little bit, but I need to hear a little more. Going forward, crew, I'm only going to set my mind to success. Okay, so instead of saying me, why don't you look at Nikki and tell Nikki that? Going forward, Nikki, you are only going to set your mind to success. All right, so we're going to work with that. We're going to work with that. I see you got a little resistance there, and it's okay. it could just be because of all the stuff that's going on. But don't worry. You're in great hands. You got a good team around you. You got some of the best mentors in the world on your side. And all we want to do is make sure we help you the best way. When we talk about Smitty with Mel and Bone, you understand. There's no, I don't need to sell you on them. You sold yourself already on them. You know that their capabilities. You know what they can provide. So now it's time for you to show up too. It's time for you to show up for yourself. But yo, look, this has been a great call. I've, I've been impacted just by listening to a lot of stories. 
I want to listen to more. So as we get deeper into the mentorship, there will be more opportunities for everybody to share and speak. And I'm, I'm going to make sure that we reach out to some of the individuals first and pull them up on the screen who um who didn't get a chance to speak. So that way you can be heard. But if you do we have first of all, do we have um any deposit links in the chat? Do we have any deposit links? Because we we were talking in the back. Romel was texting me, and he was like, "Yo, can you, what you think? Can we get a couple more spots in?" I'm like, "Yo, Smitty, what y'all think? Boom, what you think? Two more spots. Two. We got two more spots left. If 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 you if you are if you are ready to transform your life, you got two spots left, and you could be one of those two. I want to know who's gonna be the one. If you're gonna be the one, drop the one in the chat. Right, drop the one in the chat. If you're gonna be the one, drop the one in the chat. Once again, we, we don't really have to sell you on anything. Like, it, there's no point to sell you on it, even though selling is what you do for somebody, not what you do to them. The point is you already sold yourself. You already seen it. You already see the results just by being in an environment. So I need to know who's claiming this spot. Put the put the one in the chat. We got Cindy. We got Tanya. Tanya, Tanya was talking about that yesterday, right? You said, look, bank open tomorrow. Look, bank is open now. Bank is open. Yes. <laughs> we going to the bank. But look, for real, like, imagine what your life could be like if you had this for the next 10 weeks. Imagine what your life would be like this. I mean, imagine what your life would be like if you had this for the next three months. Imagine what your life would be like if you had it for the next six months. Let's just be real. Don't Remember what we said earlier. We're not focused on the money because the money would deceive you. Your money, your mind would trick you out of, trick you out of making millions. Your, your mind would trick you out of it. You want to understand and feel it with your heart. How many people resonate? Is this is your heart in this? Is your heart in here? Because I believe because you wouldn't be on these calls. Is we gave you a bunch of bonus. I, I'm gonna be real. I was so surprised. Like I, I was one of the first ones to say we ain't done yet, right? Like, but then it, came, it really became some shit. Like we're not done yet. Like yo, I was wondering when are we gonna be done. Like yo, it keep going, keep going, keep going. This is the first time we did nine days. Nine days. It was a five day challenge. Did not. Five day challenge, we did not look. I'm just telling you, I'm just telling y'all, like, just being real. Like, when it, it, it kept going. Oh, I know Rebel, he was making jokes about him being tired, but he probably really was tired because the amount of stuff that we do outside of this, the amount of stuff we do outside of this. So, I, I'm resonating with all y'all, and we're, we're showing you as an example. Yes, you all are going through some stuff. I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna be vulnerable and say it the way that most people say it in your lives. We all going through some shit. Let's be real here. We're all going through some shit. The only way to get out your situation is for you to change the situation. The only way to get a different output is to have a different input. The only way to get different results is to change your reasons. So which reasons do we have now, y'all? We got the reasons that work now. Because y'all see the results. Y'all see all the people that we brought up here. Special guests. Everybody came and delivered value. Now that's going to be you. The reason why I showed y'all the coaches on Friday is because all of the coaches came from being a student just like you. Y'all see Sunshine up here? She was in Fun Your Freedom Challenge last year. This, this marks the one-year anniversary. She was in Fun Your Freedom Challenge last year. Now she's up here at Accountability Advisor. Jasmine came in in January. So please understand, this could be you. This could be you. Oh, my bad, Steve. He came in December. <laughs> he came in December. All right, cool. So drop the link again one more time. Yo, if y'all serious and not curious, let me know because I want to be able to shout y'all out. Um, and I want to be able to, to celebrate you. Like every day is a day of celebration, but I want I want us to be real um, and transparent. Who Who's actually taking, taking this advantage, taking this opportunity to put themselves? Stephanie said, I'm in. Come on, Steph, drop, drop the link. Let's get Stephanie in. Are you? Did you already put your deposit in, Steph? Stephanie says she put a deposit in already. Let's let's unmute Steph real fast. Um, I know y'all say I got two more minutes and I just took twelve. I, I had to drop the link and stuff because it was the last time we was gonna see y'all do it. Can I can I get an apology? Can I apologize to y'all? Y'all can accept my apology. <laughs> I do apologize for going over time, y'all. Um, I thank you for your patience and I appreciate y'all. Um, thank you for that, Angela. So Stephanie, what's up, Queen? Uh, why did you decide to lock in and and, and really? transform your life right here, right now? Well, I just want to say thank you and, and everyone for having patience and giving me that extra two minutes. I did it because I felt like it's something that needed to be done. 
I, I looked at it like this. It's either going to be going to school for four years, coming out, having debt, and having to start from scratch or have invest three months and getting stuff done. And, you know, like getting rich. I don't want to say like, it's not all about the money, but having a plan and, and doing it in a shorter time. So I invested, I, I put it in right now. I'm in the call of the banks and I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this, but it's going to get done. I'm nervous. I'm scared, but you know, it's drive. It's giving me drive to keep going. I love that. And look, just so we're clear, if, if, if money is fueling you, right. If money is money is fueling you, let it fuel you. God gave us natural desires. Having wealth is a natural desire. So if money is going to fuel you, let it fuel you. The only thing I don't want y'all to do with the money is I don't I don't want y'all to to get the money and use the people. Like Myra Golden was telling me this. I was on one of his challenges. I don't want you to get the money and use the people. I want you to to take the money to love the people. Mm -hmm. Like God gave you a desire and let those desires fuel you for your activity. In order okay. for you to get to another level, you got to become more, right? But how can you become more? You got to do more. And therefore you have more. So when you break down the science of it all, it's saying, okay, what? who do I have to become? The type of activity you have to have. You have to become a person that does the thing to earn the right to have the experience. So if, hey, look, if the if the money's going to fuel your activity, hey, look, we getting rich. What's up? What's, what's the dollar amount? Let's go make it happen. If it's going to fuel the activity for you to become that new person, to ultimately have that thing, then let it be the money. But what I'm saying is don't only see the money. Right. Don't only see the money. See okay. where you can provide impact because impact leads to income. So that's what, what I want to drop in. Yo, Tanya, come up. Everybody send some love to Steph because Steph is an amazing light. I need to see more of you, Steph. You gotta you gotta come out and share and you got you know be out. But one thing I want to do is I want to bring up Thank Tanya. You. Tanya says she's locking her deposit. What's up, Tanya? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, I locked in my deposit. I'm all in. I've been in. I actually came to this challenge through you. I mean, through um the circle of greatness list. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So with Neil and um it's been it's been an amazing journey. It's been very challenging, very fulfilling, very inspiring. Um I've been going through hell since I stepped my foot into this because I know that this is the light at the end of the tunnel. I know that this is the pathway to greatness for not only myself, but my family and coming out of um, the situation that we're in and coming into the financial freedom. I'm hurting. I am, I am hurting because I have so much you just wouldn't believe. And I know everybody on here have circumstances and situations. And I resonate with the young lady that just, you know, that just got finished talking. I'm the one that do everything for everybody. Everybody pulls on me all my life. And I'm the baby of my family. But I'm a mother of six. I have 11 grandkids. And my brand new grandbaby is in the hospital right now. Again. Only a week old yesterday. And I have my little one here, his sister. And I'm still showing up. I was in labor and delivery, showing up. I was at the hospital, showing up. I was showing up last night, even though he's in the hospital. And I'm still showing up. And I keep putting my best foot forward and I keep getting up. I have so much going on. I have a son just wanted to commit suicide. I have somebody homeless in my house right now that has nowhere to go and I'm still showing up for them and I'm trying to show up for myself too. There's so much going on, but I'm still showing up because I know, I know God led me here and I know this is the pathway and I know this is the place. And mentally, emotionally, I have not been able to execute everything because I'm not a tech person. And I have so much going on, like right now, I had to get prayer yesterday. Normally I'm praying for everybody, encouraging everybody, standing strong for everybody. And uh, my brother even told me yesterday, my other brother, I just lost a brother too. <laughs> and um, he said, you gotta stand strong, sis. You know, you the one. 
got to stand strong. You know, I got you, Queen. Let, let me add some value to you. Let me add some value to you right now. First of all, I want to send you a lot of love. I want to send you beautiful healing energy because um, for sure, losing people, it, it's not easy. We know that. Like Most people know our journey. Uh, Ramel and I, we lost our dad uh, a few months ago. And then before that, our grandma and before that, our uncle. And just year after year, it, you lose multiple people who are close to us growing up, growing up without our mom. Um, I just want you to feel this love right now in this room. Can everybody unmute and send Tanya this love, please? Because she needs it. We all need it. But it's, it's important to hear it and feel it. I'm muting and it's been time to love. You got this. 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 You got You got this. You got this. You got You got this. 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 You got I, I want to say something to y'all real fast. Like, people don't trust strangers to lead them to pleasure. They trust strangers to lead them away from pain. You ever, you ever had a situation, somebody or somebody jumped on live or uh, YouTube and, yo, you can make X amount of dollars. And you probably ask, oh, get rich quick. Somebody, if you fell down and you hurt yourself, you don't care who helped you up. Right? It could be that same person that was jumping up and saying, you may help you make a million dollars. But if you was hurt, you, you wouldn't care. You let that person help you up. That's what this is like. This is like, you got to get out of your own way. Because that was the same exact thing. A, a person trusting a stranger to lead them from pain, but don't trust them to lead them to pleasure. If I lead you from pain, then what is that? Still here? You're muted, King Crew. I think he got knocked mm -hmm. off. Do y'all see him anywhere? I'm checking. No, I think he got knocked off. He's off. So you Tanya, got it, Sunshine. You, you are Go limited ahead, edition, okay, Queen? You are limited edition. <laughs> yes. Love that. Oh, yeah. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Yeah. Stay in there. I know the feeling. Please, mm -hmm. just stay in there, girl. You got this. Mm -hmm. You got this. You got this. <laughs> We all, all going through it. We all, we all going through it. Just stay in here. You are strong. I pray you will make it go. It's all of you. All of you. What your shirt says. Stay in here. We're to hurt your shirt. Jesus loves you. You can look back. Stay behind you now. Yeah, so they they uh, I don't got kicked out you know, because of uh, um my, my phone my phone died. Yeah. Watch out for that weather alert, Warren. Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> he looking around. Like, Ooh. <laughs> so yeah. Um. This this is the thing, y'all. This is the thing. The bigger the testing, the bigger the blessing. Put that in the chat. The bigger the testing, the bigger the blessing. Some of you are going to get tested. Some of you are going to get stretched, pushed past a limit that you probably wouldn't believe is breakable. But I promise you, the bigger the testing, the bigger the blessing. Your blessing is coming whether you like it or not. And as I was saying, right, people don't trust strangers to lead them to pleasure. They trust strangers to lead them away from pain. But when you look at it on a principal side, it's still the same. So you got to get out of your own way and start to trust yourself. Trust yourself. Trust yourself enough that you know that you have discernment, that you can discern between who's for you and who's against you. The reason why we don't really know it because most of the time we don't know ourselves. How could you know who's for you if you don't even know yourself? How could you know what's a scam if you can't tell what's, what's real? 
if you're not even real to yourself, right? So these are the things you want to start to think about. But when Tanya came up here and shared that, right, I, I want you to resonate with her and see yourself in her. Because guess what, y'all? Whether you believe it or not, we're more alike than we are different. If you look inside of us, we have to all have the same makeup. Some people might, you know, have surgery or whatever. So, but being born naturally, you got the same makeup, right? You got the same internal makeup. So you are an, a, a person of high stature just being born. If you're a woman, you're a high stature just being a woman. You're the chosen one to bring life into the earth, to populate the world. You're the chosen one. Think about how magical you are. Yes, there's a lot of other things that go into that, those side effects, like, you know, like the, the, that time of the month type of thing. But all of those things could be tweaked depending on how we eat and how we treat ourselves, right? Most people you have, though, like women, they would have those cramps is due to the diet. Most, most women will have a heavy, heavy blood flow is due to the fact that these companies want you to spend more money on their pads. So they, they put chemicals that make you bleed more down there. I know we, I'm like, whoa, where are we going to? I'm showing you that your knowledge is your power, right? You have to be aware of these things. So in the same sense, your finances, it's not that you don't have the money. You just lack the awareness that the money is there for you already. Why? Because of what's been pulled over our faces. You don't, like, come on, you don't need the, I, I, look, I don't want to get in too much because I'm not a woman. But I'm just speaking from a general side, y'all. A lot, a lot, women are preyed on more because that's just how society has played it. But men are equally preyed on. So you gotta not prey on yourself and you gotta remove that toxicity from your life. What do I mean by that? You gotta see the value in things that works for you. So when if your son, you know, like as Tanya came up here and Tanya was sharing all of this stuff that was going on, right? The reason why this stuff is staying or at least happening is because of the situation, right? But what if we was healed mentally? What if we was healed spiritually? What if we had, what if we had, what if we was wealthy spiritually or wealthy, you know, in health? A lot of the same problems that we have, we won't have those problems. So how much is it costing you? When we talk about $15,000, talk about $20,000, it's costing you more, right? If you just do your financial evaluation, like who wanna do a financial physical real fast? How much money do y'all wanna make? Put the answers in the chat. And we're gonna wrap up. The only reason why I went further is because we dropped the link and stuff and then we started building. But uh, honestly, this, this got dope. I'm not even gonna lie. I enjoy building with y'all. Y'all really great uh, energy, by the way. So don't just say millions, be specific. If you haven't learned anything, and it's learn to be specific about what you truly want. 20K today, right? There we go. I want to make how much in a day? I want to make how much in a month? I want to make how much in a year? Like, let's stop going by years so much. Like, when we when we break down business, yes, you want to do it in years because there's a certain formula to that. And that's why they have the society running business. I mean, running years because society is a business. This whole society is a business. But personally, you stop running on years. Stop running on years. Years, you running on years is costing you days. How many years have you wasted? Put an answer in the chat real quick before I get back to your financial physical. How many years have you wasted? Put, put, be honest. How many years have you wasted? Put it in the chat. How many years have you wasted? 20 plus years. Okay, 20 times 365. 40 plus times 365. Like, times that. 25 times 365. Count the days. And you don't really want to make, make me get to the minutes now. How many minutes of your life? Because a life can be going in a second. But how many minutes did you waste in your life? So by you operating personally in the, in, the, in the calendar year, you're by default at a disadvantage. In business, you're at an advantage. Personal, you're at a disadvantage because personally, you could die right now and you can't really live on forever, but your business can live on forever. So it's two different ways and two different spectrums because you got to have duality in life. So business, the other side of business is personal, but it's all one thing. And the one thing is you, you're the one. So if, you, if, if you're if you on this call and you understand, you're going to be tested. Like I promise you, it's never going to slow up. You ever heard of more money, more problems? Right? It's never going to slow up. You're always going to get tested. So if you want 30K in a day, or if you want a million dollars, let's let's say you want $100,000. You want $100,000 each month, or you want $100,000 each year. Guess what? The money that you make right now, how much is that? $100,000. 
put it in the chat. How much money you make right now? Let's just say for the sake of time, you make 50,000 a year, but you want to make 100,000 a year. What's costing you is you're, you're actually missing out on $50,000 by not doing the things you know you need to do. So for example, like if you join this mentorship, right? And a mentorship is 50K, it costs more for you to not join a mentorship. You're going to have all the same problems. You're going to have maybe it gets worse over time because more family members age. So more people are going to pass away as you get older, right? You got more problems that pop up, but guess what's going to happen? You're also not having the money, right? So 15K to get the life that you truly want, but you still got to do the work and be that person. Or you st stay the same and miss out and, and, and have it cost you 50,000. So the cost of it all is, is, is literally dependent on the price you're willing to pay. Your cost is willing on, is dependent on the price you're willing to pay. If you're willing to pay the price of consistency, your cost is going to be a little bit lower. If you want to be undisciplined and you want to be inconsistent, your price is going to be a lot higher. So you want to be on, you want to be close to the fire, your cost is going to be a lot smaller. You want to get cold and get away from the fire, your cost is going to be a lot higher. So it's your perspectives. I want you to see difficulty differently. So going forward, this goes for everybody. Going forward, anytime there's an obstacle in your life, just see how you can turn it into opportunity. Anytime there's like some type of challenge, you're dealing with something and you're being tested, guess what? See how you could challenge yourself to show your greatness. See how you can stand up and, and shine your light so that way you can go through the test to ultimately get the blessing. The bigger the testing, the bigger the blessing. So guess what, Tanya? You're going to be blessed uh, tenfold, but you got to do the work. All right, y'all. So that's going to end it for today. Um, once again, drop that link real fast. Drop that link again. Like I said, if you're ready, let me know in the chat. If you're ready, put I'm ready in the chat. If you're ready to take your life to the next level, trust me, you're not doing it alone. We won't have you do it alone. You're doing it together. This is how it will be. You will be in, you will be on calls. You will have classes just like how you had it. Doing it alone is not the way. Shout out to Nikki. Shout out to Dr. Embers. Shout out to Real. Is that Real? Is that your name, Real? You said from Brooklyn, right? From Brooklyn? Gage. Omar. Shout out to Apali. Moya. TJ. Shout out to Golden Impact. Jasmine. Vanessa. LZ. Shout out to LZ. You got the silhouette, but LZ been active in the chat. Tahilia, shout out to Tahilia, Tahilia Holloway. What's up, Tanya? Shout out to Ta Latanya Williams. Shout out to Latanya Williams. We got Trina. We got Deidre. Who else we got? We got Tracy. Shout out to Tracy. Shout out to John. I can't go down a whole list. I'll be here all day if I go down a whole list, y'all. But I'm just trying to shout out some people. Uh, don't worry, Jason. We got you on the Cash app. Shout out to Stephanie. Shout out to Kia. Kia Stokes. I know you stoked, Kia. Yeah, I'm loving your glasses, by the way. You're looking good, looking good. Keep up the frames. Frame looking nice. Stay in frame. Pain is part of the picture, all right? Pain is part of your picture, but you're still the star of your movie. Don't forget that. So stay in frame. All right, team, this was great. This was loving. This was beautiful. I'm going to have everybody unmute. I'm going to have everybody clap it up, snap it up. I want y'all to go on the Telegram. I want y'all to go on the Facebook group. I want y'all to go on Instagram. I want y'all to say this Fun Your Freedom Challenge was so amazing. If that's what you feel, I want you to tell us how you really feel. I want you to go out and make some noise. I want you to scream out, go on the top of the roof. I want you to do something. Everybody unmute real fast. Yeah. We're going to clap it out. We're going to go out with a bang. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Clap it up. Clap it up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, hey, baby. Yo. Yeah, you're. 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 Yeah